Today we're going to review how to modify labor inside of Estimation MEP. You can do this in three locations on the program. To start, we'll go to your summary screen. When viewing your summary screen, you can see the labor hours applied to individual items as well as the associated labor unit. All of these white cells are editable. You can modify the labor here that corresponds to the appropriate labor unit. Essentially, this means, for example, 20 hours per 100 items. Keep in mind that when making an adjustment here, it will change the labor for that item anywhere it appears inside of your estimate. The next area you can modify your labor in can be found in Closeout, Labor. You have two options from this screen and we'll go to breakdown factoring to review those. Your first option is the global factor. This option allows you to apply a factor across the board to all labor on your job. For example, here we're applying a 25% increase to our direct labor on this job. As a reminder, your direct labor is the result of any items or assemblies you've included in your audit trail on this estimate. The final option for modifying labor is the work breakdown section within your breakdown factoring. To access this area, first choose a breakdown you'd like to factor on the left-hand side of the screen. Then apply the factors you'd like. For example, if my work is occurring on a few different floors within this building, I might want to apply a slight factor to account for hauling material up and down the stairs. Here, I've applied 2% direct labor additional on these work breakdown sections. You could also repurpose one of the work breakdown structures to apply factors for things like underground or working at a height. 